What's up, hard times? What's up, lifers? <laughs> Pretty good? Pretty good? Doing good, doing this good. Is... Okay, so now we're with lifers. Yeah. And you play your first show tonight. Yeah. Is the band going to be called Lifers Crew? Or? No. 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 no, no, no. For you... now, we don't have any name yet, so it's going to be the Lifers Crew for the two first show, I guess. After that, we will figure out something out and be like yeah. a cool name, a really cool yeah, name. Yeah, we, we don't we don't want to rush finding a name, so we're we're, we're not ready to, to tape a demo yet, so it's no, it's no big deal. We, dude. we get we can wait a couple months to get things set things straight. Okay, but, what do you guys? Why did you guys start a band? Uh, because we had a time. Uh, because Montreal core scene is pretty dead, and we want to wake that shit up. Yeah, man. Because we love hardcore, because we love music. Cause we got nothing better to do. We got to chill. We got we got our friends and play yeah, shows man. and you know we got we got a tour for a show with our boys and Trap on the Ice and Ring Supreme. Tomorrow we're playing Quebec City and we play tonight for our first show. So it's pretty sweet for us. Yeah, and, we, uh, we we just started the band. You no, know, to, to have fun man, and write some good jams. That's it. Like rip off. Rip off Obituary and Bio a lot. Not Bio a lot, no, but you know. Bio, but obituary and like, you know, Demolition Hammer and stuff like that, you know. We, we'll have that, that yeah. trash metal music. Yeah. We'll, have, we'll have more shit heavy too. Now, um, family, you work, you have a number of, I guess, occupations or trades that you deal in. Yeah. Um, Gotta keep our mouth shut about that, dude. It's going on the internet. I can't, yeah, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can talk about that, dude. Yeah, the internet, you know, it's... Yeah, all, all my yeah. boys from work are gonna see that. And my boss and shit, <laughs> fuck that, <laughs> fuck that. Fuck How many shit. guys smoke a day? Like, like, four, we live together, so maybe like, smoke like two joints a day, maybe three, top. Morning or night? Night, night, morning. night, no, night. Weekend night, bakes, dude? No, no. Maybe, maybe on weekends sometimes. Yeah, weekends you know. sometimes, but... No, not all the time, dude. Okay. Yeah. Let's fuck your day up so bad. So bad. All you want to do is, like, play Xbox and listen to music all day. When you got shit to do, you know? So, what's wrong with that? When you got to... When, when you got to stay to take, care, to take care of? No, like, you know, I got a dog and shit, so... You, you got to take care of business, right? So, you, you can't, like, stay home and smoke weed all day. So no bongs for breakfast. Oh, no thanks. We're no not, we're, we're, we're not forty anymore, no. Because <laughs> I I like smoking weed, but it's not like my main priority in life. No, when I wake up, the the last thing I want to do is smoke a joint. Dude, yeah. Fuck, fuck it, man. Yeah. I'd rather yeah. smoke a joint, man. I don't listen to music. Take it easy. Yeah. No, no, no. Fuck, fuck, fuck smoking to work or school or. Okay, no. you got. Uh, perhaps not so much you travel but you, you you have a a big love for soul music. Yeah. Right. Uh, I got into that stuff first. Uh, my father had some All Green and uh, Artist Reading albums, and uh, when I was a kid, I always used to listen to my father's music, and uh, like All Green really stuck out. And uh, from there, I, I kind of stopped when at the beginning of uh, when I was a teenager, I didn't really mess with that, and uh, when I started like really getting deeper into rap and getting too in interested in like making beats you know everything so i uh, just was just natural to like to go back to the source and so then i uh, just started like listening to all kind of stuff getting to marvin gay and uh, you know the, the old Motown. town uh, james the, brown my father yeah, james brown man it's James like, Brown's the shit. Yo, without James Brown, without Motown, dude, we wouldn't be doing this interview right now. You know? There will be no hip hop, dude. No, there be no, no nothing. There will be no without no without Motown. There wouldn't be like no hardcore, like, no metal, no, no heavy rock or whatever. It's it's like it's the foundation, you know. Yeah. Is it the, this? Then on black side. Yeah. yeah. There we start. There be no obituary if it wasn't James Brown, dude. Yeah, James for real. No, no breakdown. Yeah. No fucking breakdown. Everyone, no hate breed. No hate breed. No, 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 no barrier dead. No. What? Who? Next question. No unbroken wings. Who? Sorry. Okay. But you know, it's just about soul. It's like it's it's the best music that was ever done, and there ain't gonna be no music such as soul as it was in the 60s, 70s. It's not gonna happen. It's like it's it was real, and now it, now it like. It was just like straight up from the soul. It wasn't like no big marketing or whatever. It was like the music first, and people were into it. Like there was no fucking ringtones on the internet. I mean, I think that happens shit. to all kinds of music. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. 
Early hip hop, early hip hop, early punk, early punk, hardcore, yeah. early metal, yeah, it was, early rock. I mean, you know, it was bluegrass. Soul guy yeah. to disco, and then that's when like they split, they split up. But uh, if I mean, if you're into rap, you should you should, you should be into soul yeah, and yeah, you know, yeah. it's 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 part stuff. it's part of it. It's it's the, it's the foundation. Though. I like blues a lot too. Yeah, yeah. man, yeah. blues, funk. Uh, I mean, just listen to Marvin Gaye. I want you. It's like one of the best LPs of all time. If you if you just chill with your girl, put that on. Her panties are gonna drop. Gonna get yeah. some ass, baby. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. That's a true story. Yeah, listen to your to your heart. Listen to your heart. It's about Smoke love. Some reefer. And then you're in business. Boom. Business. Put on some obituary and <laughs> and fucking go nuts, right? Fuck yeah, the shit out of her. Chop in half, man. Chop her in half. <laughs> Turn her inside yeah. out, baby. Oh. <laughs> That's you rot. But you gotta put on that body bag, you know? <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta put that yeah. raincoat, yeah. dude. Because you don't want to get infected if you don't put a body bag. For real. You know, it's, it's how it is, man. I also of course, frozen in Because you know, AIDS, AIDS is one of the cause of world's demise, you know? And the cause okay. of death. Yeah, it's the cause of death, too. Okay, enough. And the life for Zine? Yeah. For Zine? Yeah, life, life, for life for Zine, man. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. all, all the response we got so far was just great. Incredible. Yeah. Like, uh, at first, like... Our first press sold out in three weeks. We got the second press with us, but we're not, like, moving moving a lot. Uh, Trap on the Rise got, like, 40 copies on tour, on that tour. I think they sold half of it. It's pretty good. And uh, we're working on issue two after, after those shows. And uh, we'll try to put it out uh, probably, For like, the, the spring, the spring yeah. or summer, dude. Yeah. Just chilling, and uh, we got a new blogger on the on the blog too. This goes out to uh, my girl Becky from Becky, New York. Like she, the she's like the biggest New York hardcore connoisseur I ever talked with, dude. Yeah, Becky, she's, she's she's an encyclopedia, dude. Yeah, I just, uh, I'm posting his rent on uh, the Life of Agony demos pretty soon, probably this week. Becky. Sorry if it took so long, I'll post it out. And uh, we got uh, my boy Danny Brooklyn, <coughs> who's on tour with uh, Product of Waste right now. He's doing a tour diary for us. And uh, he's gonna hook you up with uh, nice stuff, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna try to have like some more writers to make it like more, ver like, like more try to keep it deal. different. Like try to like go, stay away from like the only interviews, reviews. Oh, like I like, have more stuff. To and reviews and pictures and stuff like that. Yeah. You guys should try to get banned. Once in a while, yeah, yeah that that's actually, your stuff, dude. Yeah. That's your <laughs> stuff, dude. Trust me, it helps. Getting banned, it, uh, you know, for like the two three weeks that you can't post, it sucks. Yeah, but once you're back on, then. Bridge Nine love us. That's the deal, though. They I, hate don't, us. I don't know, dude. I don't no, know. No. Bridge Nine, <laughs> if you want some promo or some shit, let us know. We'll sign you some. And if you want some hat in the next line, let us know. How about some hash? Some hash? Dude, I got some good shit, you know. Boston got some shit. They got, they got the, the brooms. Fuck the brooms, motherfuckers. Would you include a dime bag with every, let's say, I don't know, issue two? Dime bag? A dime dude. bag, you crazy? You crazy? What, an ounce with each fucking issue? Yeah, right, an ounce, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come by, yeah. <laughs> come, come, come to us, I'll hook you up some shit. No, but, uh, like, like to keep it serious, uh, we're still at it. We're still like still we still want to push the zine. Like uh, we we haven't worked that much like in the last couple of months, but we've been like working you know, on the band. Working on the band and you know taking care of life. You know, you know gotta pay the bills. Hardcore uh, don't pay the bills, baby. It's that's, uh, that's the deal. It sucks though, but you know you gotta do what you gotta do, right? It take it take much time working on that, but we 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 still like doing it and. You know, we we do it because we love the music and we just we love zines, we love we love, you know, love, we love the history of it. Like you know, it's just it's just natural for us to to keep on with that. And, uh, and there's not enough good zines right now on the market, so we're doing our best to put the real shit out. Yeah, yeah. The, just try to not please people, but like, do what you. That we yeah, yeah. Do. We we do our thing and That's people it. like it. It's great. They don't. People don't. Go fuck yourself. Who cares? It's alright. It. It's alright.